Hi, I'm Frank Knoll and I'm the Futaba Air Team Manager here at Hobbyco. This is going to be the first of a series of videos that we're going to show you the technology used and classified as S-Bus. There's a couple variations of it. One is S-Bus Normal and then S-Bus 2 which covers telemetry. One of the first things that we wanted to cover with you is what is S-Bus and S-Bus 2 technology. S-Bus technology is basically a simplified system of running extensions and a signal to your servos. S-Bus 2 technology, if you can imagine the receiver and the transmitter talking back and forth, that's for the telemetry that can come back to the transmitter and let you know what's going on in the aircraft. The other benefits are eliminating clutter in the aircraft. It minimizes the amount of extensions that you can have to run through the airplane. If you're looking at weight savings, it helps there. If you're running standard equipment, non-SBUS technology, it can be adapted to Futaba's SBUS technology with an, either an encoder or a decoder, depending on which way you want to go. Another benefit of SBUS technology is you're not limited by the amount of channels in your receiver. You can also uh, access the SBUS terminals. You can place batteries. If you're flying a larger aircraft, you can place batteries anywhere in the airplane if you're concerned with power consumption or power distribution. You will also find that there are various S-Bus accessories that will make your installation in your aircraft much easier. As I mentioned earlier in the video, we're going to be producing a series of these to give you all the information that you need for the installation and operation of S-Bus. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact us on our Futaba suggestion page and we'll try to get them answered. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.